People ask themselves all the time, how come I can't get what I want? How come I can't be successful? How come I can't live the life that my neighbors have? How come I can't achieve the things that I want in my life when I try so hard and I work so hard at it? Why can't I be successful? Why can't I have the life that I want? And a lot of people ask that question. And you know, figuring out where you are today and where you're going, sometimes it's hard and we question ourselves. I read an article recently online on success.com written by a guy named Joseph Lalonde. The interesting article, and I've titled today's video, the title of his article, pretty much five reasons you aren't successful or five reasons why you haven't achieved the success you want. You know, everyone experiences failure in their lives. At some point, everyone will experience failure. And you know what? It hurts. It hurts a lot because we want it so bad. We want to achieve, but then we fail. But understand, everybody goes through this. Everybody who's trying to achieve something hits failure and fails. So quickly this morning, I just want to run through five reasons why you may have failed in trying to achieve the success you want. And you can look at these five reasons and figure out which one you need to work on, or maybe several you need to work on. So the first reason why you may have failed to reach, a, to reach the success that you want, whether you're trying to finish a project, start a business, whatever it is, is the first one is you haven't really defined what success looks like for you. So many times we're out there chasing fads, we're chasing the dreams of other people, or we're working on other people's dreams. You know, really, if you're working for somebody else, you're working on their dream. If yours happens to fit in that mold, cool, that's great. But most of the time, we haven't really defined what success looks like for us. You can't be successful living someone else's life. You have to define success in your terms for your life and then you need to go after that. The second reason you may not have reached success or that you have failed to reach success. The second reason is you don't know what you're passionate about. So many people have this thing they want to do, but maybe it's not really a passion. They just think they should be doing it or somebody else tells them they should be doing it or your parents say you need to go to college and be a doctor, be a lawyer. It's not your passion. And so you don't succeed at it, you fail. If you're not passionate about what you're doing, you won't chase after it. You won't chase after it for very long. You'll do it for a while, but you won't stick with it for very long. And sometimes apathy kicks in and sometimes you get fired um, because you're not passionate about it. So you need to look at your life. You need to examine your own life and ask yourself, what brings you joy? What brings joy into your life? What interests you? What, what, what do you like? What do you like to do? What, what do you sit there and, and you know, research? What do you like to read? Okay, social media. What do you like to read on social media? What touches your heart? What interests you? When you find it and you start pursuing that, then you'll find success in your life. The third reason you may have failed is because you don't want to put in the work. It's hard. Going after success is hard. You know, Malcolm Gladwell talks about 10,000 hours. If you want to become the best and a professional at anything, you've got to put in 10,000 hours. In other words, you've got to put in the work. You've got to do the time in order to become good at it. Success doesn't come just because you want it. It takes hard work in order to find true success. You've got to go out there and pound it every single day. You've got to work hard for it. Just because you want it, it ain't going to happen. So maybe you just didn't want to put in the work. That's why you failed. The fourth reason that you may have failed is because you didn't have the right people around you. Jim Rohn is famous for saying, you are the, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. That's how it goes. Look at the people who surround you. If they're not encouraging you, if they're not building you up, if they're not helping you grow and achieve what you want, they may not be the right people to have around you. Other people who are passionate about developing themselves and becoming more successful themselves are the people you want to be around because 
Like breeds like. Success breeds success. En enthusiasm breeds enthusiasm. You need to form new relationships with people who can help guide you to where you want to go and help guide you to the next step in your process to achieve your success. Spend some time to build a network of successful people, a support system that can help you get where you want to go. That's important to have people around you who will support you. The fifth reason you may have failed is because you don't have a positive mindset. You got a negative mindset. If you think everything looks depressing to you, you really need to consider your mindset. If you think oh, nobody can do that, nobody can succeed, nobody can be successful doing that, you probably want to check your mindset because it probably needs some work. You know, it's like, are you a glass half empty or a glass half full? If you don't have a positive mindset, you probably aren't going to achieve much in your life. You're going to stay stuck in the life you have. And if that's not a life you like, what are you going to do about it? You need to shift to a positive mindset in order to have a chance at achieving anything in your life. Negativity, a negative mindset, only holds you back. So you need to shift from a negative mindset to a mindset of abundance, positive, success, growth, achievement. Those are the five reasons that you may have failed to reach the success that you want. If you're having a hard time achieving the success that you really want in your life for you, for your family, even for your business, if your business isn't as successful as you want it to be, one of these five reasons is probably why. So look for the one that you need to work on and work on it. Soon, you'll start to see that you're making progress toward the success that you really want. As they say, it's simple. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's hard. The answers are simple. So if you have failed to reach the success you're really wanting in your job, your career, your business, your relationships, whatever it is, go back and look at one of these five reasons. One of them is probably why, or more than one. Pick, pick the biggest one, start working on it, and build a path towards the success that you want. I'm Mark Schinner. Move back out to the porch today. Very cold. Very cold this morning. It's Wednesday. This is your Wednesday Wisdom. I hope you have a great day. Middle of the week. Hope you have a great day, and I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.